Hey guys, what is up? It is the Fast Break Report here bringing you guys another vlog. I apologize ahead of time if this video is not super long or if, uh, you know, my voice is fucked up. Uh, I don't know what happened yesterday, okay, but I went out last night, came home, my, vo my throat hurts, um, my sinuses have been clogged up. I woke up this morning, man, I couldn't stop sneezing, my throat hurt, it still hurts, okay, um, but I did want to talk about the Ben Simmons cycle because we are officially in it again. Um, we are at the point again, uh, which feels like for three summers in a row now, where Ben Simmons uh, goes into an open gym and shoots some jump shots um, or does some shooting drills uh, or he plays in a couple open runs with a couple other pros and now everyone and their mother thinks Ben Simmons is back. Um, now, I'm not buying into it. Um, I'm a little... I'm, cautiously optimistic and the reason I say I'm cautiously optimistic is because well uh, we have seen this uh, song and dance before from Ben Simmons you know where uh, he's injured for the regular season uh, then he's you know out for the whole season or whatever he gets injured then he's out for the whole season then the off season starts then all of a sudden Ben Simmons footage emerges and then all of a sudden now we're in the cycle again where people are like Ben Simmons is coming back Ben Simmons is gonna be great this year and I'm just I'm sorry I'm I'm done buying the fool's gold okay I'm done I'm done buying the fool's gold at this point however okay um it makes a lot of sense for Ben Simmons this year to play well, uh, or at least play, because he he's in the last year of his $40.3 million contract with the Brooklyn Nets. I am sure they will be thrilled when Ben Simmons is gone. I guarantee you they don't have any plans to really bring him back, and if they do, it's going to be for fucking nothing. Um, I don't. Ben Simmons will never get a max contract ever again in the NBA unless a team is incredibly stupid and incredibly desperate. Okay, and that level of desperation remains yet to be seen in the NBA. However, okay, Chris Brickley said Ben Simmons looks the best he's ever been in his career. Um, I'm going to take that with a grain of salt, but okay, if Ben Simmons wants to continue to play basketball, which it, it's sad because like even though Ben Simmons has the ability to be very good, I think a lot of people... Um, and, you know, not only just me, but NBA fans in general look at Ben Simmons and go, that is a guy who's simply not passionate about the fucking sport. Um, it doesn't seem like he has any want to play. It seems like he doesn't care to play. And that's a part of the reason that I feel like he will never get another max contract. I feel like that's the biggest reason he will never get a max contract. Never mind the back issues and the injury issues, okay? No matter how good Ben Simmons becomes, okay? No matter how well he plays this upcoming year, nobody will give him a max contract ever again. Because this is a guy who has burned all his bridges. You know, I, I can't believe I'm saying that, but Ben Simmons is a guy who has burned pretty much all of his bridges in the NBA. Now, there are certain teams I feel that would make sense to have Ben Simmons, um, especially when you consider an aging Draymond Green and stuff like that. Like the Golden State Warriors make a lot of sense. Um... You know, I would say the Indiana Pacers because they could use defense, they could use a rebounder, they could use a guy that, you know, is a Draymond Green type of player, but I worry about what that does for team chemistry. I wonder, you know, I worry about wasting unnecessary cap space on a Ben Simmons. I worry about what that does for team morale if he just simply decides he just does not want to play basketball because I feel like he's done that in the past. He's like, yeah, I just, I just don't feel like playing today, you know? Like, he had that whole spat in Philadelphia where, you know, it was a mental thing, then it was a physical thing, you know? It's just like, like, bro, like bro needs to make up his mind. You know what I'm saying? I understand having your head coach come out and essentially, like, kind of blame you for losing in the playoffs. Um, I understand, like, that that sucks. Um, and, yeah, it, it can be mentally taxing. But at the same time, I would, if if I were in that same position, uh, as the, if, 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 if Ben Simmons, I feel, were truly a competitor, the competitor that people make him out to be, if, like... If, if his head coach came out and said that about him, like if Doc Rivers came out and said that about him, then he should have used that as fuel to become better. And he didn't. Instead, what he did was, you know, okay, yeah, he was actually physically injured, but it feels like he has done really nothing 
to change his game. Yes, he has adapted to a lesser role, but that's not what you do. You know what I'm saying? Like, if my coach came out and said to me, Anthony, like, you're the reason we lost that game. Or, you know, in a pool match, right? Like, I play in a pool league. If my coach says to me, you're the reason we lost the match, I'm going to say, okay, I'll be better next week. You know, or that's never happening again. You know, like, that's just the competitor that I am. You know, and I expect NBA players to be even 20 times more competitive than I am because they make, they do it for a fucking living, okay? I play pool on Tuesday nights for shits and giggles just to go to the bar and, you know, fuck around, you know? So, what, what, the idea that Ben Simmons has not, it seems like he has not taken his development seriously. It seems like he's made, like... Little to no effort to improve his jump shot or or look like a competent jump shooter. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's one of those guys that's like, he's trying, but he's not really trying. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's, like, you know, he's just doing enough to make it look like he's doing something. And I'm tired of it. I've had enough, you know, uh, yeah, do, do the stars align for him to maybe backpack a team this upcoming year? Yes. Is he the type of guy that's going to backpack your team to the playoffs? No, I don't think so. Um, yes, he he's a guy that maybe a team would like to pick up in the offseason as a bench player, but they're not going to pay him $40 million. I, th- he's going to get the vet minimum. You know what I'm saying? Like, Ben Simmons, at this point in his career, I feel, is a vet minimum guy. Unless somebody maybe wants to play him the, the, the mid-level exception, but even then, you know, or the veteran mid-level exception, uh, exception, I just think to myself, like, even that, even that feels like it might be a little bit too much for Ben Simmons, you know, because you never know what you're going to get. Ben Simmons is a mixed bag, and I just think to myself, you know what, I hope he does well. I I hope that he turns over a new leaf this year. I hope he starts taking the NBA seriously. He is 28 years old. He could easily play another six, five to six years, maybe even seven years of high-level NBA ball. And I'm really hoping he just isn't taking it for granted. You know, that's the problem with Ben Simmons. At least to me, that's the most frustrating part about Ben Simmons is like, there are thousands, hundreds of thousands of kids out there, college athletes, etc., etc., who wish they had the opportunity that Ben Simmons has. And he, you know, he's not taking it seriously where these other kids would would die for that opportunity. You know what I'm saying? They would love to have that opportunity. And instead, he's just, you know, going through the motions and just doing enough not to get cut. You know what I'm saying? And to me, that's fucked up. Um, does Ben Simmons look better? I guess. I don't know. I've seen this before. You know what I'm saying? I, I've seen this movie before. Um, you know, I'm not falling for the jump scare at the end of it. But it's just the idea... I don't know. We will see. We will see what happens now that Mikkel Bridges is not there and Cam Thomas is the, I guess, their number one option now. Maybe Ben Simmons runs some point guard. Um, You know, they still have Dorian Finney-Smith. Maybe they put Ben Simmons back into a position to facilitate the offense. But we have to see where this jump shot is. You know what I'm saying? Like, if, if Ben Simmons can come out and show that he has a serviceable jump shot, he can make free throws, which that's the other thing. Like, I don't know if he can make free throws. Can he shoot threes at a, like, 37, 35? Or, like, if he can shoot threes at, like, a 35% clip, I feel like that's, you know, a, 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 a good improvement. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what he shot for his career from three. I'm assuming it's not very high. Um, but... And if he can at least show that he's improved on his free throws, he's made strides to uh, improve his jump shot. You know, he's made strides to become a better shot creator. You know what I'm saying? Because that's one part of his game that I felt was like non-existent. You know, and he, if you're going to play point guard and you can't create a shot at all, um, that's kind of a problem. Um, but he can get to the basket. You know, he's tall. He, he, you know, at one point in time, he was first team all defense. So it's like there is something there. Defensively, he's, he's phenomenal. You know what I'm saying? Defensively, if he actually fucking tried, he's phenomenal. Um, but it's the offensive side of the ball that we're just like, um, what's the deal with Ben Simmons? And unfortunately, um, yes, I am, 
lower on this than I am higher, but I'm cautiously optimistic about it. I, I could be wrong, and I hope I'm wrong. I, I hope he takes the fucking game seriously, comes back with a vengeance, you know, says, this is my time to shine, Mikel Bridges is gone, you know, this is my chance to show the rest of the league what I'm capable of or what I'm still capable of, and, you know, win himself another contract that's not a veteran minimum deal. You know, maybe he gets a multi-year extension somewhere, um, maybe not for a whole lot of money, um, not, I'm not, in, not even like $10 million, like less than $10 million, like, I don't know, maybe a TJ McConnell level contract, which is around $10 million a year, um, but it, it's just the idea, like, I don't know if he's even worth that. You know, like, that's that's the problem. You know, when you think of all the problems that Ben Simmons has, um, it really, I, I don't even know what a good price for him would be. I you know, normally I can tell you, like, Paul George is worth, you know, maybe 40, you know, anywhere from 37 to $43 million, right? I, I Like, I can look at a guy and say, do they change your team dramatically, you know? Or are they a guy that when you add them to your team, you're automatically a playoff team? Ben Simmons is not that anymore. Not anymore. You know what I'm saying? Ben Simmons is not a guy that's going to, you know, backpack your team on the bad nights anymore. Not that, you know, and, and yes, there was a time when he, he could sort of do it. Now it's like, I don't know, man. You know, he's given up on his teammates in the past. He's given up on entire organizations. Um, there were times where we felt like we were getting bullshitted. Um, granted, he was actually injured, but then there was the mental health thing. And then there's, you know, the, the endless back problems and so like I really don't know anymore what Ben Simmons brings to the table but I really really hope he has a bounce back year I hope he finally took the game seriously Zion Williamson did you know what I'm saying like to me there's no excuses at this point you know what I'm saying Zion Williamson weighed as much as a linebacker an offensive lineman you know what I'm saying or like he, he weighed as much as an, an NFL offensive lineman he took his diet seriously he got in the gym last season played the most games of his career I believe um, you know, Zion Williamson finally started taking the game seriously, and I think if Zion Williamson can do it, and he's significantly younger than Ben Simmons, there's no reason why Ben Simmons shouldn't be able to do that, and I feel like if Ben Simmons gives us the same old Ben Simmons, you know, same old song and dance, then I don't know how much longer Ben Simmons has left uh, in his NBA career, you know what I'm saying, like, yeah, he's a guy that yeah, can fill a Draymond Green type of role, um, but even the defense is not what it used to be, and at the same time, it's kind of like, do you really want to um, add a guy to your roster that's almost a complete nothing burger on offense? You know, like I said, I hope I'm wrong, I hope he proves me wrong, I hope he proves everyone wrong this upcoming year, but I'm not falling for it. I am cautiously optimistic we will see what happens. So, tell me what you guys think about this down below in the comment section below. I like helps me out. Subscribe if you guys want to see more on the Fast Break Report. And I'm out of this motherfucker. Peace, guys.